president's foil kidnaps attempt arrest two gunmen. Resident of Ungwa Yamad Yamadawa Durai Baba in Kano Metropolis on Wednesday night arrested two unknown gunmen after a foil attempt kidnap attempt in the neighborhood. An eyewitness says the unknown gunmen who had infiltrated the densely populated slims made a bold attempt to kidnap a resident who was assessing his grip late evening on arrival at his home. The eyewitness narrated that in the in the assuring mail, the targeted victim outsmarted the gunmen and escaped into the midst of curious onlookers. The account further explained that the miraculous escape of the victim compromised the dastardly operation as gunmen embarked on sporadic gunshots to, to minder their escape from the neighborhood. He said residents deemed the consequences and swapped on a suspected criminals as they were arrested as they arrested them like lame dogs in a hijack tricycle during the francas the eyewitness said that the crowd of the of the volunteer on a hot chase overwhelmed the gunmen who were caught pant down seized and, and handed over to police who arrived the trouble spot on the nick of time he stated the police further evacuate the two sus sus suspected to, un to unnamed health facility in the city for medical attention that across that that arose from assault from volunteers. DSP Haruna Abdullahi Kiawa, the police the, the police public relations officer, Kano Police Command confirmed the incident to local radio station but said details are sketched at the time of going press well we have to appreciate god for those suspected criminals has been nabbed by the resident that is a very good fight there and uh, is a very lovely one so to this end we want to advise the residents, wherever the other state or local government, in the, the villagers, most especially, to open their eyes and be vigilant. Because today, everywhere is not safe. These attackers can attack their victims on every side, most especially those who are living in the village. You know, at this point in time, the, the people that are suffering most, mostly are the ones living in the remote village. I wonder who will save them, if not God. So, we, there is no hope on the government that he will provide security. Government cannot even provide security to the people in the city not to talk of the town, and then how, how we will not talk of the villages again. So in this country, there is no safety anywhere. Now, every man should be the safety officer of his own household. That is, at this time, at this point in time, every Nigerian must equip, must equip himself in order to defend himself when the need arises. Because today in Nigeria, what is raining by the Nigerian youth who has nothing to do is kidnapping. Because they felt that kidnapping can give them a quick money and a very large amount of money for that matter. So we are calling on the federal government to do her best and be able to secure the life of people that he is leading. Now, for quite a couple 
of months now, the Nigerians has been crying for security provision, but up to now, there is nothing that the federal government has done. Now, we are saying that we have government. The reason why people are calling for disintegration or secession is that government is not felt in any way. For example, if there is problem in a certain city and then government quick deploy deploy a security agency in that place and they save the people, I think the, 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 the citizens of the country will be very happy and everybody will begin to, 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 to be joyful and say, we have, surely we have government. But in a situation where nothing is heard, what will people say? So like, right now, like the residents in Kano State, where two suspected criminals were nabbed, it is because the, 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 the person that they were about to carry were closer to the town and closer to the people. People were there at that particular time and they were able to save the young man who went on his farm to check his crops. You can see that had it been the, 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 the person who was almost become a victim was not vigilant enough, they, they, they would have carried him and begin to demand a huge amount of money. And again, the, the youth in that area, they were there at that point in time and they were able to save the man's life and the two criminals were apprehended. So at this juncture, we want to advise everyone in Nigeria to be the defender of yourself. There is no more oversleeping. There is no more going to places anyhow. We must be vigilant wherever we want to go because these people that are kidnapping, these people that are destroying life and property, they are in everywhere as we have no one to defend us. So we must be our self-defender. Right now, it's like the government of, of, of today, this, this present administration does not care for the life of the citizen. And now Nigeria did not even know if we have president or not, because the, 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 the president, the, the president Mohamed Buhari has not done anything for anybody. Rather, he continued to do something for the northern people. It is only the northern people that are enjoying this country. Why other people who are not from that side are so suffering greatly because Fulani headsmen are beginning to advance into every area like the southeast, southwest, south, south to take over the land. That is what is happening and people are revolting.